Washington, Donald Trump has dominated discussions of American politics since his June 2015 speech announcing his candidacy. He sparked the first of a seemingly endless series of media controversies as a politician in that speech when he said that Mexican immigrants were bringing drugs, that they're bringing crime, that they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. It was such an outrageous observation that a Washington Post opinion piece predicted that this rhetoric will keep the Republican Party out of the White House. Not afraid of a little hyperbole, author Michael Wolff says Donald Trump has the least credibility of anyone who has ever walked on Earth, in his first interview since the release of Fire and Fury. People have braved record low temperatures in New Jersey to see the partially frozen Patterson Great Falls. U.S. President Donald Trump again attacked a new book suggesting he lacks the fitness and stability for office, declaring, Ronald Reagan had the same problem and handled it well. So will I. Astronaut John Young, who became one of the most accomplished astronauts in the history of the U.S. space program, has died at age 87. Some businesses are holding off on installing the fix for a massive security bug in microchips exposing nearly every computer and smartphone to hacking, fearing the solution is worse than the problem. US President Donald Trump explains his mental state tweet, claiming author Michael Wolff is a fraud and that he considers the fire and fury book a work of fiction. The massive winter storm roared into New York dumping as much as 18 inches of snow visitors and workers in Times Square took it all in stride. Not afraid of a little hyperbole, author Michael Wolff says Donald Trump has the least credibility of anyone who has ever walked on Earth, in his first interview since the release of Fire and Fury. Since then, Americans have sought some hidden meaning behind the erratic actions of the man who now sits in the Oval Office. His tweet Tuesday night warning Kim Jong-un that Trump's nuclear button is much bigger and more powerful than the North Korean leaders, and that my button works, will probably prompt more of the same. But nearly a year into Trump's administration, it turns out that the truth is hidden in plain sight. Trump's actions appear angry and impulsive because Trump is angry and impulsive. Computer programmers use the term WISWIC, what you see is what you get. The real secret of the Trump administration is that it is the WISWIG presidency. There is no grand plan or hidden purpose. There is no wizard behind the curtain, just an old, angry, obnoxiously ignorant man. Some see strategy in the president's outburst. To supporters, the president's brash actions and hateful speech are calculated to show that he tells it like it is, that the billionaire is a man of the people. Or, rather, of the right people, white nationalists and other extremists view many of the president's actions as coded signals of support. To others, Trump's command of the public conversation suggests he is either a master persuader bending public